it is a overcast day here in Cali, Colombia. No, folks, I probably could leave my bike where it was and not lock it and it would be safe. Here's an example of how safe Colombia is. See this police officer right behind me? How nice is that? Standing there, protecting the mall, and they're all over the place inside the mall here. It just feels great walking around. You feel safe everywhere you go. Columbia really goes the extra mile um, to make sure wherever you are in public areas that uh, they have security and you feel safe. So love the security here. If any of you guys got any questions about how safe it is, I have never left my phone somewhere and it hasn't been exactly where I've left it. I have forgotten my phone at the gym. I have forgotten, you know, all types of stuff someplace. And it's either been a lost and found or somebody's hold on to it for me or people have even searched for me and brought the things that I've left. Uh, we so. are headed to the gym. I showed you guys the gym the other day, so I will spare you from the gym this time, but I'm about to get after it. We'll see where the day takes us. Just gotta get it down. So I realized I didn't show you guys the bathroom the other day, which is kind of weird. I don't really see the importance of showing you guys the locker room other than just to brag about how clean and nice this place is. Personal locker rooms, you can lock them all up, numbered, super nice, high quality bathrooms, and then personal individual shower stalls. I mean, it's just super great here. The quality of the gyms here in the Columbia, that you can get for about 60, 70,000 pesos, um, which is maybe about $25 a month. It's just uh, incredible. So anyways, ugh, man, that was some bad pre-workout, but you know, that's the way I do it. You just gotta get down the hatch. Off we go. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad workout, did back and buys. Eh, so-so. This is a little play area that I'll quick show you guys. You guys saw this on the previous episode. This is Como Central right here. Como yeah. estas? Bien? Bien? Como Yeah, man. This is for YouTube. Yeah. See, for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go get some chicken and rice and potato. Two for one special right now. And uh, I'll show you guys the price of that. post-workout meal that I have a lot. It is filete de pollo with chimichurri sauce. And I get rice. This is a platano, it tastes really sweet, super good. And a potato, and normally they put this salsa on top, but because I need to lose some weight, I get it on the side and I just dip it a little bit in the potato. It's like this mustard type of sauce that's super good. Um, total came to about 23,000 pesos or so because I got a water as well but the special is two for one for 2180 for the filete de pollo. They also have pescado, which is fish, and um, some chuleta de pollo, which is around 24,080 pesos, so about 2,500 or so. Um, so divide that by the current exchange rate, is about, I think, 3,100 or so, 3,150 to one. So you're looking at about $7, seven and a half bucks, and then it's including tax out the door. That's what I paid. So I'm gonna hammer this meal and then off to my salsa dancing lessons. Ah, man, just getting ready to head out to my salsa class. And I had a viewer the other day make a comment 
about my music choices on my vlog. So, why do I use in my previous vlog older music? And the reason is because a lot of my videos that I've posted in the past have actually gotten taken down and flagged for copyright. So I can't use popular music for my videos because YouTube will flag them with copywritten material. So I got to thinking, how can I get around this? And I figure nobody's gonna care about songs that were written in the 1970s, 1960s, so you know, what can I do here? And I met a guy that had a hard drive full of a bunch of, uh, you know, old classical uh, music that, uh, you know, was from, I don't know, the 60s and 70s. I'm not sure 100%. Um, yeah, that's, so that's why I use that old school classic type of music um, in a lot of my previous videos. But quick problem is protein shake. But... Um, as you guys can see with the new style of vlog, uh, as I'm finding more and more out about YouTube, apparently they have this thing called a YouTube algorithm, whatever that means, right? But basically they put priority over what videos are seen and what videos aren't seen based on, uh, copywritten material and stuff like that. So the problem is, is if I shoot some cool B footage, like say I go and grab my drone and I'm holding this GoPro because I just found out that the microphone is on the bottom here. So if you hear some crappy audio, that's why. So continuing, basically I need to try and find a way to defeat this algorithm. And if I make my videos cool and creative and I add some music that's kind of cooler, and I throw in some drone footage and stuff like that, then my videos are gonna get flagged with copywritten material. So my B footage and my B roll, and I can do time lapses with this camera, I can do a bunch of cool new stuff uh, with this new GoPro. Um, it's got this hyperlapse thing, it's got this uh, super smooth zoom, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. But the problem is the music. So here I'll do this footage of this cool stuff, but I can't put it in because then I'm using copywritten material, then YouTube's gonna flag it, it's not gonna get put in the algorithm. Anyways, there's the long-winded answer for why I use that old school music. Um, bear with me guys, it's gonna take me a minute to probably find some uncopywritten material uh, and some music that I can use for the B-roll footage, but I have got to dash because I've got to make it to this private salsa dancing lesson thing. So we're gonna get on uh, my bike here and I named it the Blanco Caballo. So we're getting on the Blanco Caballo here and uh, off we go to my lessons. <laughs> ah, you know the favorite thing or my favorite thing about biking? I didn't do this before, but man, the freedom that you have when you're just pedaling around is just fantastic. You don't have to obey any traffic laws, none of that stuff. Not here in Cali, Colombia. You know, everybody sits at those stoplights for three, four, five seconds before it's time to uh, to go. You know, you just blow right through the freaking stoplight. No problem, nobody cares, everybody does it. Or like this situation, I'm coming up here I'm just gonna go to the right over the crosswalk and just blow right by here. No problem, see? Bam. See the cars behind me? They're still waiting. Me? I'm gone. I'm a jet. I'm out of here. It's just fantastic. You know, you just, uh, active lifestyle, you get out. Just enjoy the fresh breeze in your face. It's just, uh, it can make a, crappy day just turned a fantastic day just by getting out it's fantastic so we are about maybe half a mile away from the salsa dancing class should be there early gonna swing by the store grab a water some gatorade do my normal routine that you guys saw the other day and hopefully i don't have two left feet today and i can get something accomplished doing this uh these private lessons because the group dancing yesterday really kicked my butt.
you know another red light another no problem bam I'm, I'm on my way I'm on my way it's fantastic up oh, got a little traffic jam up here gotta go <laughs> All right, crisis averted. Taxi just parked right dead smack in the bike lane. Ah, anyways, I'm gonna grab this water, this Gatorade, and get to this class. Now off to class. Feel like uh, I feel like I definitely got a lot better for sure, but uh, that cha 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 stuff was nuts. I always thought cha 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 was like a slower, more kind of old people type of dance. But did you see the way those people were dancing at the end? Holy smokes! Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Catch you tomorrow.